Today we are making bone broth, so stay tuned! Hi and welcome to another episode of Benji's Kitchen. I'm Paulina from Dog's Lounge and this is Benji. Before we get on with the recipe, I would like to talk to you about the benefits of bone broth and why you should include it in your pups' diet. Let's start with what exactly bone broth is. It's a stock liquid made by slowly cooking animal bones, vegetables, herbs, spices and other ingredients at a low heat for an extended period of time. Bone broth contains substantial quantities of collagen, glucosamine, magnesium, potassium, glycine and other essential nutrients. There are many benefits of giving bone broth to your dog. Let's start with digestion. Bone broth contains a lot of gelatin that is produced when bone collagen is cooked. Gelatin can prevent or reverse a condition known as a leaky gut syndrome by literally plugging the larger holes in your dog's intestinal lining and only allowing the essential nutrients to pass through as opposed to toxins or undigested food. Glycine and proline, the two amino acids found in bone broth, can help to decrease inflammation in canines' intestines, as well as help to build new tissue in your dog's digestive tract. The naturally occurring glucosamine, chondroitin and hyaluronic acid found in bone broth support joint health. Bone broth can support liver detoxification and help your pup better deal with exposure to environmental or household pollutants that can be irritating. It can be an alternative to solid food during periods when your dog is suffering from vomiting or diarrhea. It can also entice fussy eaters when added to their meals. Bone broth is also rich in a neurotransmitter argine that helps with circulation. A healthy dose of ardine in your pet's diet can help to smooth the blood flow and prevent from the clogged arteries. It can also improve the look of your dog's skin and coat, making it shinier and healthier. As you can see, there are many reasons why adding bone broth to your pup's diet is beneficial, so let's make one. You will need between one and two kilo of meat bones. You can use any bones you want, but the best ones are knuckle bones, feet and joints because they contain more gelatin. Water, half cup of apple cider vinegar. Vinegar helps to draw minerals from the bones and pull out the collagen from the connective tissues. Slow cooker. We'll be cooking for 24 hours, so it's easier and safer than leaving a pot on the stove. You can add veggies that are safe for dogs and once cooked, scoop them out and add to your dog's meals. I won't be using any vegetables today. The exact amount of bones you'll need will depend on the size of your slow cooker, as well as the size of the bones. Today I'm using a knuckle bone and marrow bones. Fill up the pot with bones, leaving enough room for about an inch of water over the top of the bones. Set the slow cooker to low and let it cook. After a few hours, use tongs to remove bones carefully. Using a knife, push marrow into the soup and return the bones to the pot. Cook for a minimum of 24 hours. If your bones are bigger, you can cook for longer. Bone broth is a rich source of essential nutrients such as calcium and magnesium. In 2017, there was a study that showed the concentration of calcium and magnesium in bone broth was higher the longer it was cooked, so don't rush it. When you're done, unplug the slow cooker, remove the lid and let it cool. Remove the bones with tongs or if you use small bones, let it cool for a while, then strain. And please remember, never ever give cooked bones to your dogs. They are dangerous, they can splinter and hurt your pet. Once cool enough, put the liquid in the fridge and leave for a few hours. You will see a hard layer of fat on top. Scrape it off and discard. Underneath the fat, your bone broth should now look like jelly. 
don't worry if it's not, it's still nutritious. It might depend on the types of bone you use or possibly you didn't add enough vinegar, so just make a note for the next time. You can keep your broth in the fridge for four to five days or what you can do and what I prefer doing is to pour it into small silicone ice cube trays, freeze and serve during meal times. Bone broth is an excellent addition to supplement your pets' meals but it should be never a substitute for a complete and balanced diet. If your dog is under medical supervision, I would recommend checking with your vet first before giving it to your dog. If you've never given your pup bone broth before, I would recommend starting with a tiny amount just to see how it reacts. A standard serving is one ounce, so around 30 milliliters of bone broth per 10 pounds, so four and a half kilo of body weight. You can give two servings of bone broth per day. Please remember, bone broth for humans might contain ingredients that aren't good for your furry companions, so don't be tempted to give your broth to your pet. It's always better to make your own or buy the pet safe ones. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed our short video and if we inspired you to make a bone broth for your pet, let us know in the comments below. You can also send us photos on Instagram, on Facebook or email us at wolf at dogslounge.co.uk. Bye!